The ability to reference from one cell to another is Excel's, one of Excel's most powerful features. And the ability to make absolute and relative references increases the flexibility of Excel um, exponentially. Although it is easy to use, it's important to understand what this absolute and relative referencing does when you copy. So like for example, we've got three blocks here, each looking at a cell using different uh, referencing techniques. Over here, this cell says $A10. What it does, using our auditing toolbar, that cell is looking at this cell here, and what you've told it is keep A constant and change the number depending on where it is. So for example, if we copied it across, what you'll see is it continues to look at that cell. However, if you go down, and we'll just clear the arrows first. What you'll see is it, it pulls it down with it. So it's kept the column A correct, but now the, the numbers are changing. Alternatively, you've got this cell here, where the reference is A $10. Again, what you're saying here is the, the letter can change, but the 10 must stay the same, hence the dollar sign. So if you go down, you'll see that that is looking at the same cell. However, if you had to go across, the copy is being told to stay in row 10, but the, the columns can change. The third method is using $A, $10. And what you've done here is you've frozen the cell absolutely. It will only ever look at that cell. This is very important to understand as a number of errors result out of this very issue.